What's up, homies? This is your homie, OVG. Welcome to another episode of The Sauce. Last week, we reviewed the Nike social status strawberry dunk. Those dunks were pure fire. That's why today we're going to bring more fire with the Jordan 3 Pine Green. Before we get into the shoe, let's go ahead and talk about the history that's in the shoe. The Air Jordan 3 was originally released in the spring of 1988 and introduced several firsts to the Jordan signature line. For starters, the Air Jordan 3 was the first shoe that Tinker Hatfield designed for Michael Jordan, just starting his illustrious career with the Jordan brand from the 1986 film. She's gotta have it. In the commercials, Black Man became the first capture phrase, it's gotta be the shoes, referring to MJ's Jordan's 3's being the source of his supernatural skills on the court. Money's gotta be the shoes! So you're probably asking yourself what makes these shoes so iconic. But I have to take it back to Chicago. It was the rematch of the 1997 dunk contest between the GOAT and Dominic Wilkins. This time around, Jordan had the home court advantage. In the Battle of the League's Top 2, the 1998 All-Star Weekend was held in Chicago Stadium, home of some of Michael's most spectacular dunk. Needing 49 points to capture his second straight slam dunk title, Jordan headed to the opposite side of the floor. And there he was, ready to delight the Chicago fans. They knew what was coming, a Dr. J type dunk. Jordan took off running while lifted from the free throw line. Double clutch in midair and slammed it down for the perfect score and the slam dunk title in his home court, making it one of the most iconic dunk contests. He defends his championship. With all that being said, that's why we have the Jordan 3 Pine Green today. Starting off with the box, you can see it's gonna be half green, the other side is gonna have that elephant print. Now if we look at the heel of the shoes where we have the Jordan Air instead of the Nike Switch from back in 1988. And then right here you can see that Air Space that I talked about earlier. Uh, it's very very slick, really really creative how Tinkerfield came up with this idea of the shoe. And you can see part cement, gray cement, part green. And then at the toe box, we're gonna have nothing but suede, all black suede around it with the Jordan green logo right there in the tongue. As for the sole of the shoe, it's gonna be around all gray, and the middle is gonna have white with that Jordan green sticking out. And then right in the middle, it's gonna have a green space. So this shoe, I really, really like it. On feet, it's really, really nice. It fits through the size. Uh, insoles are gonna be colored gray with the Jumpman logo inside of it. With that being said, now let's try them on feet. Every time there's a retro in the sauce, we're gonna be able to review it. We love Jordan retros. This shoe was retail for 180 and we got it strictly from the sneaker store. So I uh, really guys follow me. If you guys wanna see more content like this, I'll see you guys on the next one.